ओम भूरभुव स्वह तत्सवितुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवशीम धियो यो न प्रचोदया नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सेकंड वीडियो ऑन डायलॉग्स फ्रॉम उपनिषद सेकंड ओल्डी नचिकेता एंड यमा दिस इज फ्रॉम कठोपनिषद हरि ओम नंबर वन यमा सैड वन इज गुड वाइल अनदर इज प्लेजेंट दिस टू हैविंग डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स चेन ए मैन ब्लेस्ड इज ही हु बिटवीन देम चूज इज द गुड अलोन बट ही हु चूज इज वॉट इज प्लेजेंट लूज इज द ट्रू एंड टू द गुड एंड द प्लेजेंट टेक होल्ड ऑफ मैन द वाइज मैन एग्जामिन्स एंड डिस्टिंग देम The wise man prefers the good, Shreya, to the pleasant. But the ignorant man chooses the pleasant, Shreya, for the sake of the body. Three. O Nachi Ketas, thou hast renounced desires and desirable objects of pleasant shape, as the heavenly nymphs. Judging them by their real value, thou hast not chosen the road of wealth in which many men perish. Fourth, these two ignorance and knowledge are wide apart and lead to different points or goals. I believe Nachi Ketas to be one who desires for knowledge, for even many desires have not seen these. Five, the ignorant who live in the midst of darkness but fancy themselves as wise and learned go round and round, deluded in many crooked ways, as blind men led by the blind. Six, the way to the hereafter is not apparent to the ignorant man who is foolish, deluded by the delusion of wealth. This is the world he thinks. There is no other. Thus he falls again and again under my sway. Seven, he, the self of whom many are not even able to hear, whom many even when they hear of him do not comprehend. Wonderful is a man when found who is able to teach the self. Wonderful is he who comprehends the self when taught by an able teacher. Eight. That self which taught by a man of inferior intellect is not easy to be known, as it is to be thought of in various ways. But when it is taught by a perceptor who is one with Brahma, who beholds no difference, there is no doubt concerning it. The self being subtler than the subtle and is not to be obtained by arguing. Nine, this knowledge is not to be obtained by argument, but it is easy to understand it. O oh, dearest, when taught by a teacher who beholds no difference, thou hast obtained it now. Thou art fixed in truth. May we have an O Nachiketa and inquire like these. Then Nachiketa said, I know that the treasure is transient, for that eternal is not obtained by things which are not eternal. Therefore, the Nachiketa's fire has been propitiated by me with the perishable things, and I have obtained the eternal. 11. Yama said, The end of all desires, the foundation of the world, the endless rewards of sacrifice, the other shore where there is no fear the praiseworthy the great and wide extended sphere and abode of the soul all these thou hast seen and being wise O Nachiketas thou hast with firm resolve rejected all twelve the wise says who by means of meditation on his self recognize the ancient who is difficult to be seen, who is unfathomable and concealed, who is hidden in the cave of the heart, who dwells in the abyss, who is lost in intelligence, indeed renounces joy and sorrow, 
13 having heard and well grasped this the self the motor abstracting the virtuous atma attaining this subtle self rejoices because he has obtained what what is cause for rejoicing i think that the abode of brahma is wide open for nasiketas 14 nasiketas said that which those ceased as other than virtue and vice, other than cause and effect, other than the past and future. Tell me that 15 Yama said the goal, word which all the Vedas speak of praise, which all penances claim and wishing for which they lead the life of Brahmachari in that goal, word I will briefly tell that it is Om. 16. This is Word, this word is verily Dharma, this word is verily the highest. He who knows this word obtains verily whatever he desires. 17. This is the best sport, this is the highest sport. He who knows this sport is worshipped in the world of Brahma. 18. The intelligent Atma is not born nor does he die. He did not spring from anything and nothing sprang from him. Unborn, eternal, everlasting, ancient, he is not slain, although the body is slain. 19. If the slayer thinks I slay, if the slain thinks I am slain, then both of them do not know well this is, this is, says not nor is slain this slays not nor is slain 20 the atma subtler than the subtle greater than the great is seated in the heart of each living being he who is free from desire with his mind and senses composed beholds the majesty of the self and becomes free from sorrow 21. Sitting, he goes far, lying, he goes everywhere. Who else therefore says, save him? Myself is able to comprehend the God who rejoices and rejoices not. 22. The wise man who knows the Atma as bodiless, seated firmly in perishable bodies, great and all-pervading, does never grieve. 23. This Atma cannot be attained by study of the Vedas, nor by intelligence, nor by much learning. He whom the Self chooses by him, the Self can be gained to him. This Atma reveals its true nature. 24. But he who has not turned away from bad conduct, whose senses are not subdued, whose mind is not collected, is not at rest, can never obtain this Atma by knowledge 25 of whom the Dharma and the Kshatriya classes are as it were but good food and death itself a condiment or pickle how can one thus know where that Atma is so I end this video here next video will start with third value of Kathopanishad. So thank you my dear friend. Please like, comment and share the video and subscribe the channel. Thanks a lot. Namaskar.